Hi, everyone. Welcome to this introductory lecture to Excel, one of the most popular spreadsheet program used for data analysis and management. My name is Dr. Wendy Pierre. I have more than 20 years of experience in teaching Excel and science courses. I will be your guide and instructor for this lecture. In this lecture, we will cover different topics in Excel, such as workbook, worksheet, column, row, cells, and more. Again, welcome to our course. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Excel course. In our today's lecture, we will see some more options in the Excel interface. So first of all, let's see what are formulas and functions and how we can perform them in Excel. Formulas and functions are basically the powerful tool in Excel and that allow users to manipulate data and perform calculations. So here I've mentioned some of the formulas like sum, average, if, count, and max. And we will do briefly them in this lecture and we'll do the details in the upcoming lecture. So let's perform each of them one by one. So for that, let's open Excel. Yeah, here I have just randomly put some data in the first 10 cells of the column A. And here I want the sum of all of these cells in this cell, A11. So I'll just go to the formula bar and just put equal to sum bracket A1 to A10 because I want the data. because I want the data from here to there to be added, and I'll close the bracket and just press Enter. So here I have the sum of all of these data here. Now, same thing here. And just press Enter, and here I have the average. So. We can perform more formulas, like if, so why we use formula? If is a condition and return one value if the condition is true and another if the condition is false. For example, okay, so let's do that in A12. I'll just go to the formula bar and press equal to here, and then I'll just write if bracket A1 is greater than 10 and comma, and then just put this quotation marks, then yes, otherwise no, and I will just close the bracket, and when I will press enter here. So yeah, when I will press enter here, it says no. So the condition was if cell 1, A1, is greater than 10, then place yes, otherwise no. So this is not greater than 10, so the answer is no. So same thing like the previous one, we can do counts that is used to count the cells. For example, the number of cells in the ring that contain numbers. So here in a 13, I'll just put equal mark and then count. and we'll just mention the range. That is from A1 to A10, and then just, and then just press Enter. So they say that 10, so from this to this cell, there are 10 cells that contain numbers. So the count is 10. So same as the case we can perform, we can see the maximum value in this range, so for that put equal to max and brackets a 1 to a 10, and when I press enter it show that 10. So from a 1 to a 10, 10 is the maximum value, so that's why they have shown it here. Thank you for joining our course. I will see you guys in the next lecture.